the notorious Bermuda Triangle in the North Atlantic Ocean makes people, ships, and airplanes vanish into thin air. Some experts blame bad weather conditions. Others are sure the reason is heavy traffic in the area and human error. Many people believe in conspiracy theories, aliens, the lost city of Atlantis, or even a massive meteorite lying on the ocean floor. There are also those who deny there's anything unusual about the triangle. And still, the mystery remains. But few people know that the South Atlantic Ocean has an enigma of its own. Well, not the ocean itself, but a patch of space above this area. It's dubbed the Bermuda Triangle of Space, or the South Atlantic Anomaly. There, Earth's protection against solar radiation is much weaker than anywhere else. When spacecraft get into this region, all kinds of serious problems occur to them. For example, their equipment can fail or break down out of the blue. When NASA was launching its $2.5 billion Perseverance rover in July 2020, the space agency planners had to do their best to avoid the Space Bermuda Triangle. Otherwise, it could have easily wreaked havoc on the spacecraft headed for Mars. This bizarre region stretches from Zimbabwe to Chile. The anomaly itself seems to be connected with one of the two Van Allen radiation belts. These belts are zones of intense radiation that comes from the solar wind. Charged particles get caught by our planet's magnetic field. They form two rings that surround Earth stretching from 400 to 36,000 miles above the surface. The inner Van Allen belt is made up of mostly protons, while the outer is mainly electrons. By trapping the particles, the two belts protect you and our planet from getting harmed by solar radiation. The South Atlantic anomaly lies in the region where the inner Van Allen belt comes very close to the planet's surface. In this place, Earth's magnetic field is especially weak. Nothing prevents cosmic rays from reaching as far as a mere 120 miles above the surface. The more solar radiation, the more high-energy particles gather over the South Atlantic Ocean. The problem is that this radiation hotspot sits so low that many satellites have to travel through it while following their orbits. There, they get bombarded by protons at a speed of 18,000 hits per square inch per second. No wonder it affects all the electronic systems on board the spacecraft. For example, the Hubble telescope passes through the Space Bermuda Triangle more than 10 times a day, and it can't collect information when it's in that region. If the equipment isn't put into safe mode, all spacecraft systems can fail. Plus, the more complicated electronics become, the more problems occur in the area of the South Atlantic anomaly, and the more costly the damage is. The SpaceX CRS-1 Dragon spacecraft almost went out of control in October 2012. Attached to the International Space Station, it had serious problems while passing through the magnetic anomaly. Luckily, those issues were short-lived. In March 2016, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency lost contact with its satellite Hitomi. It was launched about a month before to study processes happening in the universe. Later, it was found out that the spacecraft had broken into pieces and crashed down to Earth. One of the motion sensors reported that the satellite was rotating, but in reality, it was stable. When the control system tried to prevent the unwanted and non-existent spin, the spacecraft fell to pieces. This accident cost almost $280 million and three years of preparation. But returning to the Earth's magnetic field, why is it weaker above the South Atlantic Ocean? Rather than being a perfect sphere, our planet bulges in the middle. If you measured Earth's diameter at the equator, it would be 27 miles wider than the pole-to-pole -pole one. In the areas where there's a dip, charged particles from space can get closer to our planet's surface. The magnetic field is created when liquid metals flow in our planet's outer core. This generates electric currents and also gives Earth its south and north poles. But these poles aren't constant because our planet's magnetic field is constantly shifting. 
Sometimes it's getting weaker, and at other times, it's growing stronger. Right now, the Earth's magnetic field is weakening. This process started more than 1,000 years ago. Scientists don't deny that one day, Earth's magnetic poles might flip. Then, the North Pole will become the South, and vice versa. Such a phenomenon has been happening all the way throughout the history of our planet. The last time, it occurred around 780,000 years ago. Experts are still unsure if such a flip is going to happen this time. After all, it's not an instant change. This long process can even reverse all of a sudden. Something like that happened 40,000 years ago. At that time, Earth was really close to renaming its North Magnetic Pole to the South. But that brisk event turned out to be not a full reversal. While scientists were trying to figure out how long the South Atlantic anomaly had been around, they made a curious geological discovery. It showed what our planet's magnetic field looked like several thousand years ago. The Bantu people were a tribe of ancient Africans who lived about 1,000 years ago in the region of the Limpopo River Valley. Nowadays, this area is inside the South Atlantic anomaly. Bantu people had an odd ritual. During droughts, they burned their own clay huts. They hoped such a sacrifice would make it rain. But when clay burned at high temperatures, the magnetic minerals in it aligned with Earth's magnetic field. That's why when the substance cooled down, the minerals showed the planet's magnetic field pattern. It helped the scientists learn that the process of the weakening of the magnetosphere started long ago. The clay patterns even specified certain periods of time when the process was especially active. 400 to 450 CE, 700 to 750 CE, and 1225 to 1550 CE. Even better, the researchers likely found the answer to the mystery of the Space Bermuda Triangle. They noticed there was something unusual about the boundary lying between our planet's silicate mantle and its liquid iron-nickel outer core. This region is almost 1,800 miles beneath Earth's surface, and that's where a huge reservoir of super-dense rock sits. Some experts state that the thing might be tens of millions of years old and thousands of miles wide. It's not 100% clear how a rock, even if it's that big, can interfere with the magnetic field of the entire planet. It might be because it's located right between Earth's boiling outer core and the mantle, which is much stiffer and cooler. The enormous boulder might be disturbing the layer of iron, and it's the very thing that helps to form our planet's magnetic field. Whatever the reason is, exactly under Africa, the magnetic field is reversed, and that's what's likely to cause the anomaly that affects spacecraft. At first, the scientists thought their discovery meant the magnetic field was about to flip again. If it was true, our planet would go through several catastrophic events. The continents would start to lurch in different directions. It would trigger catastrophic earthquakes, lead to the disappearance of many species, and provoke climate changes. Luckily, there's no evidence that the consequences of the pole reversal would be that bad. Even better, it might not happen at all. After more research, it became clear that the Bermuda Triangle of Space isn't a sign of an upcoming pole reversal. The events taking place under the continent are more likely to be part of a bigger scale pattern. But the South Atlantic anomaly is scary enough on its own. If this area keeps growing, it'll cause problems not only in space, but also on Earth. Computers and other electronic equipment will fail or stop working altogether. Right now, the radiation is less intense in the lower layers of the anomaly than in its upper part. But over the past 150 years, the magnetic field in the region has lost more than 15% of its strength. It doesn't mean Earth will be left unprotected from the sun's radiation in the nearest future. Experts are sure this won't happen for at least another billion years. Plus, some kind of magnetic field always existed during the times of the magnetic pole's reversal, even though it was weaker and more complicated than the modern one.